Plus tonight, mourners gathered outside City Hall to remember five police officers killed last week. The huge crowd lit candles and wiped away tears. And now we are hearing from the shooter's parents who say they had absolutely no idea their son was so disturbed. Here's KPI X5 reporter Joe Vasquez. I didn't see it coming. I, I love my son with all my heart. I hate what he did. The parents of Dallas gunman Micah Johnson spoke out for the first time to Glenn Beck's internet news organization called The Blaze. His mother says he wanted to be a police officer at one point in his life, but after he was kicked out of the army, he was a changed man, disillusioned. The ideal that he thought of our government, of what he thought the military represented, it just didn't live up to his expectation. Police believe Johnson had been planning an even bigger attack than the ambush Thursday night. CBS News has learned he had hundreds of rounds of magazines attached to his body, indicating he was ready to kill more people. The police chief says that's why he has no regrets deploying a robot bomb to take Johnson out. This wasn't an ethical dilemma for me. I'd do it again, Keith. I'd do it again to save our officers' lives. This morning, a Dallas trauma surgeon who treated officers admits he and his community are also going through trauma as they continue to wrestle with the larger issues at hand. Right now, it is certainly a struggle. There's this dichotomy where I am standing with law enforcement, but I also personally feel and understand that angst that comes when you cross the paths of an officer in uniform and you're fearing for your safety. President Obama will be in Dallas tomorrow to speak at a memorial service. There will be wakes and funerals throughout the week. In the newsroom, Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5. And back here in the Bay Area, UC Berkeley's Black Student Union held a Black Lives Matter vigil on campus tonight. Speakers used music and speeches to express their thoughts about last week's deadly police shootings. In San Francisco, various community and religious leaders held an interfaith vigil at Grace Cathedral. They sang hymns and offered prayers for peace, justice, healing, and reconciliation. Tonight